I offer my humble pranam at the lotus feet of Bhagavan Sri Sathya Sai Baba. Welcome to video lecture on microcontroller and embedded systems. Uh, in the last class, I uh, explained about the uh, first program, how to perform multiplication, how to uh, multiply two 16-bit uh, number. Uh, today lecture, I am going to explain about uh, program number two. It's uh, from part A programs. Here, write a program to find the sum of first 10 integers numbers. First 10 integers number, something like this. 1 plus 2 plus 3 up to 10. If you add everything together, we will get 55 in decimal. But we know that it is going to store, uh, the computer store every information in terms of binary. At the time of display, it will display in terms of hexadecimal. So that is 37 is the output of this particular uh, program. Therefore, I have to add from 1 to 10 and we have to store in appropriate uh, uh, memory location. Uh, now, I'm just I am going to explain uh, the program. Uh, if you want to write any assembly language program using LPC 2148, now this is the format. Okay, area, name of the program, code read only means Actually, if you want to write any program, we need three types of memory, the program memory, data memory, and stack memory. Therefore, somebody has to be there to differentiate what type of memory we are using. Now, timing, uh, we need memory to store the program. Actually, basically, the nature is read-only. The nature of the memory is read-only. Then it's a code. It's a program memory. And area, area decide which section of memory we are using. Therefore, area followed by name of the program and then code is a assembler directives. This also read only memory assembler directives. Entry means it decides uh, the starting the uh, entry point. Means it, it indicates where you have to start executing the uh, program. Okay, that's the meaning of entry. Then here uh, end end of the source program result DCD. Define constant for double word. I'm going to store uh, the address, 32-bit address in this memory location. Okay, RAS is the name of the location because I want to store the sum of first 10 integer number in this location. Now, move or not comma 10. How many numbers have to add? 10 numbers. That's from 1 to 10. 1 plus 2 plus until 10. Uh, that's the meaning of this. Move or not comma 10. Counter 10 integer number. Then move R1 comma 0 means what this indicates immediate. I'm loading immediate number 0 to R1 register. R1 is a 32 bit register. It's a partial sum. Okay, if you go for addition, the initial sum must be 0. Then move R2 comma 1. It's a first number because I have to start with 1. Okay, start with 1. Just I'm considering 1 here. Move R2 comma 1. 1 goes to R2. R2 becomes 1. R1 becomes 0. R0 becomes 10. Then here add R1 comma R R1 comma R2. What's the meaning of this? We know that R2 contains one, that's first number. R1 contains the partial sum, that's initial sum. Therefore, 0 plus 1, that 1 goes to R1. R1 becomes 1. Actually, here sum equal to sum plus first number. That is sum equal to sum plus first number. What is the initial value of sum? 0. Okay, then what is the first number? 1. Then that goes to R1. Now R1 becomes 1. Then add R2, comma 1. Increment. What is the next number? 2. Then what is the previous number? 1. 1 plus 1. 2. That goes to R2 only. Now R2 becomes 2. Update next integer number. Now R2 contains 2. Next, subtract R0 by 1. Means out of 10, Already we completed one, one number is over, decrement the counter. And after decrement, that is update the CPSR register, current program status register. Suppose if we write simply sub instruction, it won't update CPSR. If you want to update the flags of CPR, uh, CPSR register, we have to go for yes. Okay, means it's going to update the status register, the CPSR register. Therefore, subtract now R0 by 1. Our initial value of R0 is 10. That 10 becomes, 10 becomes what? 9. Now, there will be a conditional branching instruction, jump instruction. 
brand if not equal what is the value of r not 9 it is not equal to 0 go back next now that is r1 r1 contains what is the value of r1 that previous sum that is 1 now here 2 1 plus 2 3 that goes to r1 then increment r2 r2 becomes 3 then subtract decrement the counter Okay, not equal to zero, go back. It's keep on doing same thing. That is one plus, two plus, three plus, four plus until until this R not equal to zero. Once R not becomes zero, it comes out of the loop. It comes out, it comes out. Now I want to store the result. Uh, the result is available in R1 in the memory location. Now I'm going to get the address. What is the address of that memory location? So this address that address available in the result therefore store this address in r3 then str store the content of r1 str for to transfer 32 bit number if it is 16 bit str sth strh if it is a byte strb like that now str means store the content of r1 to memory location the square bracket refers to memory the square bracket refers to memory store the content of r1 in the memory which memory location that address is given by r3 what is the value of r3 this address therefore the result goes to where to location memory location which memory location that address is given by r3 that's our job is completed that is terminated it's a stop okay i created something like the infinite loop you can go for software interrupt also if you go for a software interrupt then it's going to spoil the content of register this also okay it is going to create infinite loop means it is not possible to execute further instructions so this is the way uh, next uh, i'm going to execute the uh, actual uh, program uh, i'm going to execute the actual program because so i'm going to use uh, a keel micro vision software uh, then i'm going to explain so this is the program same program i'm executing in uh, what you call uh, uh, keel micro vision for software then see just the save and while therefore zero errors and zero warnings then i will go to debug debug so this is the memory section okay you can go for what you call that's actually i can close this close this then you can go for view under view we have something called uh, memory windows under memory window memory one so this is the way okay now uh, what is the initial content of this location? Zero. Zero is there. Now, this is the actual program. How to execute this program? If you want, you can execute uh, the single step or we can be able to execute uh, complete program. So, you can go for run. You can go for run. Uh, what is the initial, what is the content of this location? We have zero, zero, zero. Now, if we execute this particular program, therefore, now this is the output. Okay, now that is actually, what is one plus? 1 plus 2 plus 3, that's a 55 in decimal. What is the hexadecimal equivalent of this? 37. The 37 means it is in 32 bit form. First, it is going to store low order by 37, then 0, 0, 0. Actually, I have to read in this way 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 37. This is the output of this particular program. Okay, any doubts here? Any doubts? Okay, so like this, this is constant because you have to add only first. 10 integers number. Say so here, move R not comma, move R not comma 10, move R1 comma 0, move R2 comma 1. If you want, you can execute a single step also. I will go back. We'll start from beginning. Okay. So once again, you can go for uh, uh, debug. Okay. Now here, this uh, what is the initial content of all the registers? That is 0 only. I'm going to execute uh, what do you call first instruction. R not becomes 10. Because here 10. What is the exercise equivalent of 10? 0 a. Now R0 becomes 0 a. That's a counter. Then R1 remains 0. There is no problem. Then R2 becomes 1. R2 becomes 1. Then next, here it's going to add the content of R1 with R2 and some goes to R1. Then R1 becomes 1 because 0 plus 1, 1. Then add 1 to R2. What is the initial value of R2? 1. Now that becomes, that becomes 2. R2 becomes 2. Then decrement or not what is the initial value of r not 10 is there that is a is nothing but 10 if you execute this instruction it's going to suppose i'm executing this instruction then what happens subtract r not by one now r not becomes r not becomes nine r not becomes nine then jump if see the control is here 
okay actually branch if not equal to next and if you execute this it will go here if we can keep on executing this way you can see the counter 7 here 5 4 3 2 1 0 see actually still uh, this contains 0 then it comes out of the loop okay ldr what is the value of r3 r3 initially contains 0 if we execute this in star 3 becomes this address this address okay then what's the meaning of this store the content of r1 to memory which memory location that address is going by, given by r3 if you execute the last instruction the last instruction what happened see we'll get the output okay any doubts here i think uh, i understood this any problem any problem in this program okay no problem now nah? okay uh,